One of the proudest moments I would think is to leave my finance industry behind and just join this media industry. Having like your teammate and family members just cheering for you, then like you finish first in a way, it's like very proud of yourself. So I don't really feel like I'm proud of myself, but more like I'm grateful that I have hit my expectations. I got to be monitor, so yeah. Winning the tournament. My class actually voted for me and then, um, yeah, I got to be the monitor and then, yeah, I felt very proud. I was super happy because I, can, I managed to go into the second round. There are like, I'm really proud of myself because I won. That was my first match ever winning in the competition. I acted in the Channel 8 show. When the show was released, all my friends could like, recognize me, they're like, oh, you're the one on TV, right? So I felt very proud of this. When I got my own place a few years back, I got my own uh, apartment, um, all on my own, not a dollar taken from anyone. The apartment that I bought wasn't something that I thought I would ever be able to afford. So like me and my crew boat, we're a four-man boat, so like we won first for the race. It was a polite race. And I felt that like that was my proudest moment, having like your teammate and family members just cheering for you, then like you finish first in a way, it's like very proud of yourself because you've been training very hard and like it's all worth well in the end. Previously at work, then there was some like disagreement la, with like colleagues. So it became like a bit tense and I felt that I wasn't in the wrong. So then I was kind of like praying about it and I just felt that you know maybe I should just go and say sorry first for maybe my own oversight. I feel quite proud of myself because to me, I always believe I don't anyhow say sorry, right? Not your sorry don't mean anything. To be able to like do that for the sake of like pursuing peace, I feel is quite a big step lah for me. I think being able to really do something that you enjoy even though it's hard, but when you reach that stage of not hard anymore, then it's very rewarding and very kind of fits the soul to an extent. For me, it's like, if I am successful at something, I don't really feel proud, but I feel, feel like, thankfully I've done that. Like, I've hit my own mark on like what I should achieve. So I don't really feel like I'm proud of myself, but more like, I'm grateful that I have hit my expectations. During lockdown, when I decided to release my first single and then within the next few months, I released my first album. And I managed to design something, even though it's just something small, but I didn't expect that I could do this because I have no interest in it. But because someone actually encouraged me, so I okay, just do it for the fun of doing it. But then I realised that, eh, not bad. Ah. I do have that skill. It's not about whether not knowing, but it's about learning. I just dropped it because I was like, hey, you know, it's locked down anyway and there's nothing else to do. So why don't I just use this time to get over my fear and just drop a song? Because what does it even matter in the grand scheme of life? <laughs> and then it got radio plays and then people started realizing, oh, Alyssa can actually sing. Maybe when I graduated the first time, yeah, it was it was a challenge, but I did it. So I think I was proud of myself for having the grit to stick to it. To a lot of people, graduating with a degree is just a normal thing. But being the first in my extended family to graduate with a degree is a big thing to me and my family. I had the responsibility of taking like about seven people through a journey and just like teaching them. One of my few proudest moments are when I see my students performing on stage and just really enjoying themselves and enjoying the process and just enjoying drama, enjoying theatre. And I think for me it's just being able to see their growth. That for me is one of like my proudest moments I feel like a proud father. 
even though I don't have kids, they are kind of like my, my kids. So I feel like a very proud father when they put up a really, really good show and just have the time of their lives. I did a photo shoot in the beginning of March this year. This is the highest that I've ever been paid for any assignment up to now. It is my, my wedding. You see, when I was courting my, my wife, my wife had a lot of suitors. And at that time, I was in a low point in my working life. But she believed in me and she chose me to be her husband. And so when I got married, I was, I was really proud and happy. First story which, uh, on which there was a film made, I had just scribbled it years back and um, a local film producer in Singapore, when they saw, uh, when they read the story, we were working on a different project but then uh, that didn't work out so I just shared the story for her leisure time reading and she loved it so much and then she wanted to make a movie about it. Initially I had a lot of uh, inhibitions because I had nothing, no knowledge about this craft. But I didn't want to miss it also because the way I envisioned it, it was difficult for me to explain it to the other writer or, um, you know, assistant director too. So I, I actually worked on it and every aspect of that movie and uh, when it got released in Singapore and in global stage, it got recognition, uh, international awards, more than 12 in global platforms. So that was my proudest moment. My proudest moment would be something that I do for someone. One of the proudest moments I would think is to leave my finance industry behind and just join this media industry. Leaving the finance industry is not the easiest option. I have to hear a lot of noises of objection from family and, and friends even. You know, I get a lot of doubts at that point of time. When I was in, in, in my finance career, I was like doing okay. I was about to get promoted. I get super good benefits and, and all that kind. Of, I'm leaving all that kind of behind just to, just, just for one word, like passion. There was one time my friend, uh, she kind of uh, was behind her mortgage. So I told her that, uh, yeah, sure. I, I, if I have, I'm able to help her, I would, would help her because I felt that you know, if you have, why don't you help, you know? I, I should say I'm very proud of it. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay? Hope to see you again! Bye-bye!